Welcome back, bookworms. This is Mrs. K. I'm glad you could join me. Christmas is one of my favorite times of year, and one of the reasons is the beautiful poinsettia. But have you ever wondered where it came from? Well, in today's story, we find out. Let's experience the magic of reading as I read to you The Legend of the Poinsettia, retold and illustrated by the late Tommy DePaola. Lucida lived in a small village high up in the mountains of Mexico with her mama, her papa, and her younger brother and sister Paco and Lupe. Papa worked in the fields with their burro Pepito. Every evening Lucida fed Pepito, gave him fresh water, and filled his stall with clean straw. At home Lucida helped mama clean their casita, their little house and pat out the tortillas for their meals. She took care of Paco and Lupe, and each evening they went to the shrine of the Virgin of Guadalupe near the front gate to see if fresh candles were needed. But every day was not work. On Sundays, the family went to San Gabriel in the square where Padre Alvarez said the mass. And all through the year there were fiestas and holy days, which always began with a procession that wound through the village and ended in San Gabriel. One day close to Christmas, La Navidad, Padre Alvarez came to their casita. Ah, Senora Martinez, buenos dias, good day, Padre Alvarez said. I am here to ask you about the blanket which covers the figure of the baby Jesus in the Christmas procession. We have used the same one for so many years that it is almost worn out. Because your weaving is so fine, I have come to ask if you would make a new one. Mi padre, Lucida's mother said, I would be honored and Lucida can help me. On Saturday, Lucida and her mama went to the market to buy the wool for the blanket. They chose the finest yarn they could find. At home, Lucida helped mama dye the wool the colors of the rainbow. Those colors will shine through the church, Papa said as he watched Lucida and mama string the yarn on the loom. As Christmas drew closer, everyone in the village was busy. All the mamas were making gifts to place at the manger of the baby Jesus in the church. The papas worked together, putting up the manger scene in San Gabriel. Lucida and the other children went to the church for singing practice for the Christmas Eve procession, when everyone would walk to San Gabriel, singing and carrying candles. Once inside, Padre Alvarez would lay the figure of the baby Jesus in the manger, and the villagers would go up and place their gifts around it. Our gift will be the blanket for the baby Jesus, Lucida told her friends. I am helping Mama weave it. One afternoon, a few days before Christmas Eve, Lucida and the children were singing in the church when Senora Gomez came hurrying in. Lucida, you must come home. Your mama is sick and your papa has taken her down to the town to see the doctor. You must take care of your brother and sister until your papa returns tonight. Lucida was frightened. Mama had never been sick before. When she got home, Paco and Lupe were crying. They were frightened too. Lucida tried to comfort them. She made some food and sat down to wait for papa. That evening, papa came in looking tired and worried. He drew Lucida close and said, Lucida, mi niña, your mama is ill. Your aunt, Tia Carmen, will take care of mama until she is well, 
but I must go back and stay with Mama until I can bring her home. But it won't be until after Christmas. Senora Gomez will take care of you and Paco and Lupe while I am gone. She will come for you tomorrow. The next afternoon, Lucida overheard two women talking. Lucida's mama is ill. She won't be able to finish the blanket for the procession. Isn't it a shame? See, si, the other woman said, we are also disappointed. Padre Alvarez will have to use the old, worn-out one. When Lucida went home to feed Pepito and get clothes for Paco, Lupe, and herself, she looked at the unfinished blanket on the loom. Perhaps I can finish it, she thought. But when she sat down and tried to weave, the yarn got tangled, and the more she tried to untangle it, the worse it got. It was no use. She could never finish it by herself. She took the unfinished blanket to Senora Gomez. Oh, Lucida, it is so tangled. There isn't time for me to fix it. Senora Gomez told her, "'Tomorrow is Christmas Eve.' Lucida started to cry. It was her fault the blanket was ruined. Her family wouldn't have a gift to place at the manger of the baby Jesus. "'Don't worry, Lucida. We will all go to the procession together.' Lucida didn't say anything. But in her heart, she felt that she had ruined Christmas.' Come, Paco, come, Lupe. It is time to go to the procession, Senora Gomez called on Christmas Eve. Where is Lucida? She was nowhere to be found. Lucida was hiding. From the shadows, Lucida watched everyone gather for the procession. The candles were lit, the singing began, and the villagers walked to San Gabriel, carrying gifts to place at the manger. Lucida walked along in the darkness and watched the procession go into the church, followed by Padre Alvarez carrying the baby Jesus. See her there? Little girl, are you Lucida? An old woman stood in the shadows nearby. See? Lucia answered, wondering who she was. I have a message for you. Your mama is going to be fine, and your papa will bring her home soon. So you don't have to worry. Go now into the church and celebrate Christmas with the others. Paco and Lupe are waiting for you. I can't, Lucida told her. I don't have a gift for the baby Jesus. Mama and I were weaving a beautiful blanket, but I couldn't finish it. I tried, but I only tangled it all up. Ah, Lucida, any gift is beautiful because it is given, the old woman told her. Whatever you give, the baby Jesus will love because it comes from you. But what can I give now, Lucida said, looking around. A patch of tall green weeds grew in a tangle nearby. Lucida rushed over and picked an armful. Do, do you think these will be all right? And Lucida turned around to ask the old woman, but she was gone. Lucida walked into the church. It was blazing with candlelight, and the children were singing as she walked quietly down the aisle with a bundle of green weeds in her arms. What is Lucida carrying? A woman whispered. Why is she bringing weeds into the church? Another one murmured. Lucida reached the manger scene. She placed the green weeds around the stable, and then she lowered her head and prayed. A hush fell over the church, and voices began to whisper, Look! Look at the weeds! Lucida opened her eyes and looked up. Each weed was tipped with a flaming red star. The manger glowed and shimmered as if lit by a hundred candles. When everyone went outside after the mass, 
All the clumps of tall green weeds throughout the town were shining with red stars. Lucida's simple gift had indeed become beautiful. And every Christmas to this day, the red stars shine on top of green branches in Mexico. The people call the flowers La Flor de Noche Buena, the flower of the holy night, the poinsettia. Well, bookworms, I hope you enjoyed this story. I really liked how Lucida brought such a simple and beautiful gift to church. Remember, it's not how much the present costs, but the thought behind it. Now, when you get a chance, go to your local library and check out other books like this or go to a bookstore and buy a copy for yourself. If you like reading with me, become an official bookworm and subscribe. Until next time, enjoy the magic of reading. Bye. Yeah!